everybody! Welcome back to my fifth vlog! Can you guys believe it? This is my fifth one. Okay. It's actually not that big of an accomplishment, but you know what? I will take it, because before this, I wasn't vlogging before this past Monday. Now it's Friday, so I'm going to keep this going. I really love talking to you guys. This is super enjoyable for me, so I hope it is for you. So anyhow, let's get to it, shall we? So... What are we going to talk about today? Well, there is something that's been on my mind lately that I feel that's pretty important to talk about, and that is tests. Now, I'm not talking about your normal school test or maybe a test that's provided by an employer. I'm talking about a test that is coming from above the universe, or whoever that you believe in, whether it's God, the universe, whatever religion that you believe in, doesn't matter. I believe that we are always being tested in life. Whatever situation we're in, there's always something that is testing us. And I came to this realization because I believe I'm being tested right now. My, I believe my faith is being tested in this situation I'm in. There's been many tests in my life I can think of. But I believe that we're all being tested every day that you wake up. And when you go to bed, that whole day is essentially a test. Whether it's a mini test or it's a longitudinal test. I believe that in some shape, way, or form, we are being tested. Now why? Why would we be tested? Well, I can think of a couple reasons. It's to, it's to test our strength, our will, our inner soul, our inner want and desire to succeed, to, to do something. And I believe it makes us stronger. Now some, some of these tests maybe we don't exceed at and that's okay we fail these tests just like earlier this week we talked about failing because it leads to some kind of lesson being taught so maybe this whole test idea should have been talked about a little bit in the failure vlog from a couple days ago but either way i believe these tie in together pretty well and to get through these tests, we have to really stay strong. We have to really endure whatever it is that we're going through, whether it's a health issue. You know, we certainly get tested on health issues. I had a pretty bad case of, whatchamacallit, Lyme disease uh, earlier this year. And I actually just found out I'm like, I'm positive with it now, but it's not affecting me as bad as it used to. It's more of a mental thing at this point, I think. I'm kind of a hypochondriac, but um, anyhow, I I got tested when I got, I mean, I got a literal test for Lyme disease, of course, but I got a spiritual, spiritual test when I contracted this bacteria because I was going through a lot of, like, just scary thoughts in my head. I My heart started acting funny. I had a have a heart doctor look at me I thought I was gonna die at one point I mean that's just my hypochondriac and herself speaking out here if you guys don't know what a hypochondriac is that's someone who thinks they're always sick or is gonna get sick or is just really hardcore in their health issues that's how I am that's how I've been my whole life so I'm always really clean I always clean my hands and take daily showers and so I'm a very clean person because of my hypochondriacism if that's even a word but Anyways, I'm getting off topic here. What I'm trying to say is that I got tested when I... I got a spiritual spiritual test when I got this bacteria. And it took a lot of prayer. It took a lot of just belief that I was going to be okay. But there was moments where I didn't think I was going to be okay. There was moments where I thought, man, I'm going to be like this the rest of my life. I'm going to be achy. I'm, if you guys don't know much about uh, Lyme disease, it affects your joints. It can affect your heart, your mindset, of course. But mainly like your joints it like causes a lot of pain in your joints and my back was killing me for like weeks on end it was super painful but um once i got on antibiotics and pain medication i was all right after that but in the meantime in between all that like i was going through some pretty big uh spiritual tests here i was i had to really rely on on god and in, in, in my belief um 
I had to rely that everything was going to be taken care of, that I was going to be all right. But, um, but like I said, whatever it is that you believe in, um, you know, if you're, if you believe just the universe itself is is testing you. That you know, whatever it is that you follow, that you're going to be tested in some way, shape, or form. In my case, it was a health issue, but I'm still getting tested to this day. I'm getting tested on my faith every day uh, with my business, with what I'm striving to achieve. It's all just a big test. It's all just a big, just, you know, you're you're putting an effort towards something every day and you may not be seeing results, but you're getting tested in your effort and in what you are willing to do to get to where you want to go. And, and a lot of times people, including myself, just fail these tests because either they don't have the endurance or you don't have the the willingness to succeed in what you're doing and you know that may be okay that might be just the universe or god or whoever telling you that hey it's all right if you fail this test because maybe you realize it's not for you and let's test you on something else instead you know just like in school they put you through a lot of different tests they put you a lot through a lot of different subjects to find out what it is that you're interested in and it helps you diversify your life and you can kind of determine like, okay, I failed a lot of tests in math, especially algebra in seventh grade. I got like a D or I even failed my first couple tests. And uh, I realized, well, before that I knew I wasn't that great at math, but my mom was pushing me to get into higher advanced math at that time in my life. And um, she didn't want to see me fall behind, but uh, which I'm thankful for, but I still did really crappy. And, uh, and I realized, you know, I'm probably not going to be going into a math major later in life. But I, I failed that test, so I knew I can move on from this. I can move on from this subject matter. I could start focusing on something else that I like to do, you know? So, I believe that all these tests are here for a reason. And then they're, they're here to teach us some kind of lesson. And to show us that it's okay to fail in whatever it is that you're doing. Because only going to make you stronger in the end you're going to learn something from it and or you might just let it go and move on to something completely different and that is okay because life is infinite and it provides many many opportunities and anything that you start in you are going to be tested you're going to be tested in so many ways that it might become overwhelming it might become confusing it might become emotional it might become depressing there's gonna be a lot of emotional things going on and you need to be ready to become self-aware when this happens you just need to be like okay i'm not really feeling that great about this whole thing right now is this what i should be doing well you're getting tested right at that moment whether it is that you're supposed to be doing you, you know what i mean you're 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 being tested in so many ways when you start something. And all, what can continue what you're doing is your passion, is your love for what you're doing. And if you don't love what you're doing, if you're not passionate in what you're doing, well, it's going to show and you're going to fail whatever it is that you're doing because that's just how it is. You know, some people take up working out at the start of the new year and they maybe go for a couple weeks but then they fail after that well it was worth a shot i guess but you still fail but that doesn't mean that you can't start maybe doing something different instead of working out you could do something you can do like a sport instead maybe you just don't have to lift weights so you don't have to run to, to stay in shape you can just join a sport instead or something else that's physical you know mall walking i don't know anything at all it just might be that particular environment isn't for you and that's okay though it just means there's something else out there that you're going to excel at and that you're going to be much better at because that's exactly what that test showed you so you just have to become self-aware that's the biggest thing once you know you're being tested then you can start to understand the why why you're being tested the how how you're going to pass this test that is if you want to and if you want to pass it what are the things that are going to be needed to pass this what is needed to strive forward to pass on through to the other side so you can pass this test 
and move on to the next level in life and ultimately become someone you know of success of greatness because greatness starts with a lot of small tests and those small tests eventually snowball into bigger tests and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and they're never going to stop you're always going to be tested in life in whatever it is you do so i'm just going to leave you guys with this whatever it is that you're struggling with right now it's probably because life puts you there for a reason and it's some sort of test how many t i should have a count counter here how many times i've said test so far but in, in all honesty though that's exactly what's happening and you need to find it within your heart and your soul and your mind and look up to whatever you believe in and really just focus on the why because once you understand why you're being tested then you will know what to do next and i can't tell you what's going to come next it's really up to you to decide what you do ultimately in the end it's all up to us what we do so I'll leave you guys with that. Thank you so much for watching. Please thumbs up this video and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And please also add me on Snapchat at ProducerKCM. You can find all my other relevant social media links in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate it. I shall see you guys again later. This has been episode 5 of Kyle Coglin Vlogs. Thanks again guys and I'll see you later. Alright.